All right, everyone, welcome. This is going to be a Harkle Soul Silver glitchless manipulus race. Um, we're actually pretty much ready to go here, so um, I'm going to. Everyone's got their dates set? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Date yep. set, David cleared. I'm clearing my save right now and I'll be ready. Just need Alo and TTS to ready up and race time. Yes, sir. Get underway. Very nice layout. So timing here starts on soft reset, so you're going to see us all soft reset at the same time here. I'm just working on getting my save deleted. Apparently I had all of the data. <laughs> if I wasn't I'm not going to start from soft reset. Oh, you're you not. want the five? The, the <laughs> five second times. So yeah, okay. Cheating. Mm -hmm, I'm racing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. You want to go for uh -huh. every, every second. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh yeah, it looks like I'm frozen on the layout. Yeah, my, my OBS crashed for a sec. Oh, are you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I restarted it like a few minutes ago, but it's frozen. Oh, it's in my crash. niche. Might need that fixed. Are we all heart gold? Yeah, I think, I think so. Gold. I think we're all heart gold. Yeah, it's all silver. Ooh. Bad. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alrighty then, we're all ready, so go ahead and click ready up. There we go. Uh, TTS. Alright. Good luck, racers. Good luck. Well, we're gonna GL. All race time for the start time. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Damn, Owl. I'm ashing. I'm mashing L even though we haven't set L equals A yet. <laughs> oh, could you, uh... I think you got noise suppression. Oh. Reading? Yeah. Oh, good though. So yeah, um... HSS Glitchless Manipulus. What is that? That nip that means that we're not doing any RNG manipulation, so... You know, everything's random. It's gonna be our random starter, random next main that we get. Not the next main, but the next next main. And also no uh no glitches. What won't be random is the route. We're all gonna use the same strats. Yes. Are we? Uh mm. <laughs> <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, foreshadowing. I don't like it. Well, generally the same strats, but we'll see what happens. Check it out. I'm gonna whip out Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Kenya Minipolis, what a guy. Fastball Raikou. <laughs> okay, very simple stuff at the beginning. Pick girl because girl's faster by like eight seconds. Uh, Options, fast, L equals A, battle scenes off, set battle style, yep. all the fun stuff. I don't know this, y'all, y'all like Pokemon Runners, in chat. They're here for the content. Yeah. One of the things so, that we've already done is, uh, well, some people, not me, but they've set their time to right before 4 a.m., uh, so that they get their time save in the oak introductory scene. Just all vocal called out. Text. <laughs> He's just trying to get all those seconds, man. Yeah, I'm not even going that far. Come on. Come on, I'm not playing during the daytime. It's dark outside. You don't want to do that. It's dark outside IRL right now. No, it's not. Oh, it'll get Tackle. bright. <laughs> Someone will come up. 
Uh, no. Where is Cyndaquil? It's been a minute. There he is. <laughs> you know, left one. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually to the right. Oh, press left ones. You know, you know what I mean. Man. Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, Cyndaquil is our starter pick. Just does better. Nice thing about this category is that stats really don't matter. Any fear Cyndaquil is runnable, just some are better to run than others, so there's no need to like do a safety save and then just grind out uh, Cyndaquils with good stats or um, have like a backup card or anything like that, so that's really nice for uh, making this a race category as we are doing right now, um, and a marathon one too. Yeah, super raceable category. You're also you have gonna no real that, requirements. Yeah, you're gonna notice that there's no. Like, I mean, that we've found yet. There are plenty of cynicals that won't beat Faulkner <laughs> if you get unlucky. <laughs> I chalked that up to a skill issue. Yeah, I think this category is like, very unique in that sense that, like, you can basically take anything, like, normally, and runs, like, there's at least a, like, starter requirement. You could certainly do that for PB attempts, but like, it's not. I don't, I don't think it's not necessary. More importantly, for like PB attempts, is how many encounters you get at the start of your game compared to uh, your stats on Syndical. But yeah, um, all we're doing right now is just. Getting to Mr. Pokemon's house and back. Trying to minimize encounters. Uh, actually, do you want to kill one Pokemon? Ideally, a level 2 Pokemon. Thanks this for the is... reminder. As I encounter yeah. a level 2 Pidgey. This, this EXP is for um, getting Quilava before the first fight in um, Solpoko. Which will improve some ranges on well, Cyndaquil can't really kill unless you have Blaze. Or... I'm a level 4 bird. Those trainers, but uh, it, it heightens the chance of saving turns. Generally, it is time save to kill a wild Pokemon. Oh boy, that hey, attack I found another is... level 2 bird. Anyone want one? Yeah, please. Yeah, I've, I've got three encounters and I have a 4 shot. Uh, no level twos. Holding off right now. Oh, here's another level two. Someone else can have this one too. Yeah, send it over, man. <laughs> what consoles are everybody playing on? You could ask that. I'm playing on uh my 3DS. I am also playing on my 3DS. I have never played on 3DS in the last few years, so this is DS. And Alvo is muted. <laughs> oh, well. This is DS for me too. Right. Yeah, 3DS for me. Uh, 3DS will be relevant in basically one spot. Um, the, the car punt, about like an hour and 15 into the game. Um, if you have a 3DS and you can use the circle pad, and that'll, like, uh, that's an easier way to do quick turn frames. Uh, you can certainly match that turn frame speed that you'd get with a 3DS circle pad with DS, as long as you, you know, have a good method. Yeah, at the cost of your thumb. Yeah, it, it is a less physical tool <laughs> uh, when you use a 3DS, because the circle pad is just ergonomically better. But, um, you know, either way is fine. So one unique thing about <clears throat> pretty much only this game is when you walk in the grass instead of running, you have a lower chance to get an encounter. Yeah. For the first time in a race, I did not enter in the Apricorn house. I knew somebody would do this. Because it's faster. I knew somebody would do this. It's not faster. It's not faster in Manipolis. You take more grass tiles. You are wrong for this. This is perfectly right to scold you. <laughs> 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 
It's past Tucker's bedtime. I know I people were gonna tell. do it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I needed to showcase that. And you're wrong. You don't need to showcase that. No. It's all faster in minutes. This is worse. Or if you get an encounter on like the worst tile, I guess then maybe you could do it. If you yolo the one tile to take the right stairs. I think it also adds an opposite direction. I don't, I'm not sure if that matters. I think that's the first opposite direction of the route that it would be. But yeah, that's not correct. Yeah. So yeah, for those who don't know, there is a special mechanic with the uh, grass tiles here known as opposite direction counter. Um, anytime that we are taking a step or looking in a particular direction where we could get an encounter, uh, if our next direction that we're looking is opposite of that, it increments this counter. And what that counter does is as it goes higher to a certain extent, um, it will cause more encounters to show up. Uh, so we want to be really conscious about how, especially we're entering and exiting grass on various routes to make sure that uh, we are minimizing the chances of encounters as much as possible. Um, there are a couple of places where it's unavoidable, like on the route here after we get um, the egg from Mr. Pokemon, it's kind of an opposite counter coming uh, in and out of the house. There's just no way to avoid that. Um, but anywhere else on these early routes, we're going to be doing as much as we can to make sure that the counter does not go up. It is a mechanic, though, that we will be abusing when we're doing our hunt for our new main, as Tucker was kind of alluding to in an hour and 15 from now. Yeah, actually, if you just do <clears throat> regular movement, like you don't do anything anything weird, you will just not increment the opposite direction counter in any meaningful way. So yeah, you it's do not have really to, something you have to think about. You do have to like think about it like, one time on the first pass of Route 29. Like yeah. if You have to enter... The second patch of grass entering from the left, not downwards, cannot increment the opposite direction. But if you increment it only you automatically, once, it doesn't matter. No, 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 right? because yeah. you're you're automatically at one on your opposite direction counter because the game thinks that your last direction is up and then you go down optimally for the first entry of the grass. So you're automatically at one. So you want to avoid a next opposite encounter, or opposite direction. Sorry, that's um, Pokemon Asia says science for you. I was about to say my rival went very bad because I missed, but I just instantly crit, so I two shot the the to die. Rats man, I, I have ten attack. I'm minus per attack. I've only just started the rival fight. I encountered Mule 2s. I am uh, sassy. Sassy. With like no speed. <laughs> yeah, so a quick rundown of what kind of stats you like kind of care about with Cyndaquil. Uh, definitely special attack is the most important. Followed by. Could be attack or defense. Both are pretty important. Defense or mainly Bugsy. Attack for um, you know, stuff early on. Bell sprouts and uh, like Mikey. Yeah, so although. And also Magneton. Uh, Mag Magnemite. Right, so at least. So although any Cyndaquil is runnable, there does get to be kind of a messy uh, decision tree at about a half hour into the run that, that you kind of have to deduce based on your Cyndaquil stats which one's kind of the best order of operations um, whenever we get to the second gen. Yeah, and that decision tree is largely dependent on your special offense, actually. Um, because that affects whether you can or cannot do Rival 2 early. So yeah, Rival 2 and Bugsy are like interchangeable fights in Azalea, so we have to like compare each other's Azalea times rather than one of the fights. 
in this split. Just because it's going to be optimal to do something else for everyone. But, like, more often it's going to be Ravel 2 first. Because Ravel 2's EXP helps you for Bugsy. But it's it's obviously, obviously could be the other way around where Bugsy's EXP can help you for Ravel 2. Yeah. In this catching tutorial, you don't have to do much except for Mash for Rattata if you get Tail Whip. If you do get Tail Whip and Mash, then you save 0.5 seconds compared to not mashing. That's it. Thank you, Dexy, for that discovery. Yeah, for the longest time, we were just, like, not mashing. Also, Marrow can have huge power and deal more damage. <clears throat> My Meryl did no damage at all. Got something Time bad. save. Yeah. And HP drains uh, 1 HP per round in this game, so it's pretty relevant. That's what makes the HP bar so slow, as people like to think of. Um, you do want to catch a Sentrit. Sentrit gets cut, Surf, Whirlpool. Very good HM user. That's good HP. Level 2 Sentrits usually only need one hit. To get to a good catch rate, level threes usually take two. Okay, now that I have centered, I'm gonna stop running through the grass. Nice. I killed the Sentret. Good crit? Do no. Crit? Yeah, I yeah. I got I crit the second turn. I, I minus attack, so it doesn't it doesn't get a good catch rate in one hit. Ooh, yeah. I've done three kind of practice start attempts and I've been minus attack in all of them, so it's never fun. Accidentally killing the Sentret because you got an uh, untimely crit. Oh, perfect. Level 2 PG. I was running out of opportunities to get one. <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna... You shot it. And it's Zoom 3. Why? That's so annoying. Uh, I am not willing to die to my Q. I'm gonna heal. Oh, one thing to mention, after every encounter, you get three tiles worth of encounter immunity afterwards. So this can be used on like, burn frames or steps. And what we would do is, we try not to take turn frames after encounters, and we also if possible, bonk on things in front of us so that we skip turn frames, because uh, if you bonk, you are not considered to be stationary for your next movement action, and you don't take a turn frame. You only get turn frames if you are stationary and go in a different direction. So I'm probably not going to kill this Rattata after Leer. I was meant to Leer turn one, I didn't, but I crit tackle, so it's kind of evens out. Okay, I did kill it. That's good. Could have gotten Harry. But I will do like Alvo and get this extra potion. Potions are very useful in general, and it's easy to run out. Yeah. Waiting to there. get another one because I minus the attack. So you are very quiet. Yeah. There's gonna be like a, a only a few sort of like things that we're gonna do because it's racing. I made a horrible mistake. 
I looked at Aldo's screen, I forgot where I was, and I ran into Bugcatcher Dawn. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. It's a first yeah, for me. Remember to take the Violet Center, guys. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking about that too, though. So. Center Don't flashing is something that we'll do to not warp back to home or Cherry Grove when we die. If we die. I don't want to say when. It's all good for extra XP. Extra money. Extra $48. You just get Ember Huge. fight early in Bellsprout. You, you just got Gen no, 2 spinner. I don't think so. Dawn's a Gen 2 yeah. spinner. True. <laughs> that should have weird there. So even though we can get encounters in Strut Tower, we're still going to run because on average it's. Uh, time save to run through Strut Tower and the risk of getting encounters is low enough to work, be worth the risk. Yeah, lower encounter rate than just like grass. I think even without Bugcatcher Dawn I would be quite a bit behind you guys. My gate time was uh, 1714, which is pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm on your heels, but I just missed like two tackles in a row, so I'm slipping behind. <laughs> I also missed a tackle just now. Good, so my alike. luck is over. <laughs> <laughs> you also get the... Um, Encounter immunities after a trainer. So, we're gonna bonk off these trainers. It's also like just faster to bonk off trainers too, if, even if you're not trying to avoid encounters. It's faster by up to two frames if you do it fast. Because you need to spend at least one frame bonking, but turn frames are three frames. The extra XP is actually helping me to get these two-shot ranges with minus attack. It wasn't all bad, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> Always an upside to everything. You know? Exactly. Extra trainer. Extra range getting. Oh my goodness, can you stop missing? I think I missed four times so far. That's pretty rough. At least three. Now it's the hardest section of the run for me, remembering that Ember is in slot 4. <laughs> yeah, Ember really jumps around a lot for the DS games, huh? We yeah. always pick the fire type starter, except if you're playing like Piplup or something. And uh, <laughs> for Chimchar, it's in slot 3. For Pig Knight or Tepig, it's in slot 3. Syndical, it's in slot 4. A lot of us have played multiple DS games, if not all. It's another encounter. I don't know if the audio is on right now, but like, generally, for like tournament races, we usually keep it on the leader. I don't know 
that's happening right now. I'm not even sure who the leader is right now. Is anyone at Lee? I'm gonna I stop just, uh, in 10 seconds. Just started. Okay, I'm on the sage right before Lee, so I'm a little bit behind yet. Yeah. Not by much, though. I got two encounters in Sprout Tower. I'm unlucky. Me too. I burned Hoodoo. That's gonna be good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That Hoodoo has hypnosis and it's pretty annoying to take care of. The watch hypnosis. So that's a very thing to do three, three turns. And that's pretty much better. Yeah, damage are inexistent for me. And he was pretty nice. Got a single hypnosis for me. And another thing you can do is after every text box, you can press the D pad in the direction you want to go and then skip a turn frame that way. Not every text box, every last text box, with a few exceptions. You just have to keep in mind. Alright, so here goes Faulkner. Um, in like a regular minute, Faulkner, you don't have a sentry, which means that if you get sand attacked by the Pidgey, then. You're really dealing with uh, an uphill battle. Because not all your embers are going to be accurate. And the Pichota has the infamous Roost, which can be very bad. Yeah, but luckily I... we have Sentry to sack if we do get Santa. Ideally, gonna... ideally we are slower than uh, Faulkner's Ace, which is a Pidgeotto, because uh, it's much easier to take advantage of Blaze. Uh, the next best case would be to be faster than it. The worst case is to be speed tied with it. It is just a nightmare winning coin flips and trying to take advantage of Blaze to get through Kajioto without an issue. Alright, I actually think I misplayed, but I didn't get punished. My misplay was switching out, even though I didn't have a guaranteed range on oh. VG. I killed it, so it's fine. Very lucky. And I also got uh, a faster speed tier than Pidgeotto. Not guaranteed to do that. I crit, please don't crit me. Oh, good missed tackle, cool. And this quick attack should kill. Oh, it didn't kill. I'm alive, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was max red HP. Max, uh, if Pichota has max red HP, then usually he doesn't die. But yeah. Walk her down. Wow, level 13 for Pidgey is pretty nice. It does so much I got damage. a crit by Pidgeotto, dude. Oh, no, man. dude. I got crit from 13. Well, this is why we stop at the Violet Center before going yeah. into Sprout Tower. <laughs> I hate when people die in the races. Like, it, it happens. And they're just like, Ugh, I'm trudging now. Minutes behind. I love getting patronized by Nurse Joy. Ah, oh, Faulkner. Yeah, some of these early fights are not great. Faulkner bugs your rival too. Not a fan. Pretty much all the syndicate section can just go sideways with a bad crit. They're all like just 
annoying enough. Yeah. None of them are like terrible, but like they're annoying. Yeah. Calculated. Yeah, that's how I feel about them. <laughs> Not Pidgey Critney. What are you doing? <laughs> That's quick attack. That's not Ember. All right, Pidgeotto missed. Not punished. Roost. Now punished. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck in a roost loop. Get me out. Yeah, my cynical yeah. is modest again. I feel like I got modest three times in a row. Honest is not the worst. Nope, it's I not, it. but I don't like critting Centred. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so at this point I know my Syndical's going to do early Rival 2. I'm gonna do Bugsy. Good special attack. That's safe. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm really not awake. I just forget to repair. <laughs> yeah, I can't take any extra Marie. steps if I grab X attack. So, at the turn frame setup. Fucking damn it. <laughs> Anthony spawned both times on my setups. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I don't need a PC, I'm just gonna PC flash in case I die in Soul Football. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. I've learned that the hard way. But I'm not gonna heal, because I wanna keep this HP. PP's fine as well. If your PP is like too low, like say you got uh, roosted a billion times, then you definitely wanna just PC early. You have to like PC twice uh, in order to at least remove Centret from your party or um, heal up your PP. Because there is a double battle in Luxie's gym that you're able to avoid if Centret is either deposited or dead. Yeah, so in Gen 4 we have consistent ways of passing spinners if you do things correctly. So shouldn't really be hitting more than the odd spinner if you mess up. But some of the setups can be pretty tricky. There's notably one later in Kanto. It's very difficult. Oh, this is actually cool. Um, I get to show off a rarely used tech. Um, I got an encounter like one tile before this trainer, so I'm gonna talk from him from the top. Because I'm stretching out my immunity tiles. So after I'm done with this trainer, I'll have three more immunity tiles and I'm further ahead in Slipbook Well. It's like only a few tiles where that's relevant. No, that's one of them. If you get an encounter, then this is optimal. Yeah, 
I don't trust that. And I have the extra PP. It's optimal in the re reducing the chance that you get a 1% chance per tile encounter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, I damn. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll say all that and then I miss up, uh, walking. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Killed one of the rats without blades. Never seen Bacons going for three lead in a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you like don't have blades and slowpoke well, then um, you're not yeah. going to be one-shotting a bunch of things. So, like things like Zubat can be supersonic, and that can get bad. Like as you can see on my screen, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this coughing as well. And having a really screen. bad spell attack doesn't help yes. at all. Yeah, even if you have blades with bad special attack, you're not going to yeah, one-shot things as well. These will still be ranges. 11 HP is very safe for coughing. In fact, that's fine. So PC heal. I'm doing gravel two first, so I want Sentry it revived. I did that, so I'll do that. Also depositing the egg. I want it to hatch. The reason why SpDF matters so much is because the Crocona that Rebel 2 has can do over half if you have bad spadef. Mm -hmm. Smoke screen from Proton, thank you. Fight's great. Gassy does have curse. Um, if you get that, then you have to sack Sentry. Straight to water gun. Um, I'm gonna show off something that Icy found. Ice? When you get the fastball, you can clear it with the D-pad for some reason. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just look in the wrong direction. Safe. I don't want to get gripped by Zubat this far into the fight. And um, I know I have a pretty safe victory here. Oh. Oh, I 
Why did I do that? No idea. I should have just quick attacked again. Whatever. Yeah, since you're still alive, I still have to sack it. Um, I'll do that on e drill. That's a, a weird fight. Not very common either. What I did was I had I have like pretty excellent attack, so I did Leer plus X attack on Karakana with early level two. Hmm. Rather than like triple Leer or you know, something like that. That works. Bugsy time for me. Bugsy is a very scary fight. Like, oh, yes. there's plenty of ways Bugsy can just beat you. He can crit you with high crit rate focus energy. He's pretty powerful in general. Also has a Leer. Uh, quick, quick attacks, I come off with Technicians. Yeah. It's like, there's like, strong. And also pretty bulky for, for this part of the game as well. It's like, 80 in defenses. Yeah. And if we weren't using Cyndaquil, he would also use U-turn to do damage. I don't get crit. Okay, kill. Oh yeah, nice. Calculated again. I've lived both gym leaders on one health. Very nice. And I'll have two Ember PP left. Just, just what you need. Oh, that is so not good. I crit Crocodile on the torrent, and it wiped me. Oh man, <laughs> that's like I'm just not getting good luck so far. You could do QA strats to Heath, but you also would get punished if you got crit into Blaze, where you would have killed with Blaze. Well, I forget to switch uh, Centret in level two because I had a really good fight. <laughs> <laughs> you are asleep, Mick. Yep. You're and I should keep oh, myself attack. I lost my X attack too, so I'm gonna have to go do Bugsy now, aren't I? Actually, I'll live a crit from full. Leered again? Bro did not attack me. Leer, focus okay. energy, Leer. <laughs> Might be throwing. He is throwing. Throwing the challenge. Oh, you're right, I have Blaze. I can, can use Blaze on... Uh... on Ghastly and get Sentret in the daycare. And with this mistake, I now have to use a potion because I'm dead to I won't pick attack. Could you low and just hope for the no max roll? Unlikely. Uh, this is going over tackle. I remember how to play. Yeah, I, I like to do early rival too, just, just because like normally it's like you're doing one PC heal and you have some yes. in your party after Bugsy if things go smoothly. So Rage? Cool. Okay. <laughs> ah. I healed yeah. on Crocodile from 5 and used Rage for some reason. It's nice. Nice nice example for uh, good AI in this game. Like, the reason why Crocodile like, doesn't just like spam Water Gun on us, because like, you know, it does quite a bit of damage, is because uh, the AI, if it's good, will prioritize, prioritize um, status moves. Okay, I didn't expect to live that. And I also, live any move torrent. that can kill. I also crit. Crocodile into a torrent, but I killed. Or I didn't die to water gun from 30. Oh. Uh -huh. I was at 28 and I got wiped. Look at how close I am to level 20. That's so close. 
if only. So this is the chaos of Azalea Town. <laughs> yeah. Rival 2 and Bugsy are just... Oh, beautiful. Face. That's a very good Azalea for me. Me too. And I saved time on my PB, which isn't necessarily that hard, but uh, I did get an encounter there, so... I also took an extra center flash. So yeah, get, getting past Azalea is quite a challenge for, especially for some cynicals that are not built for it. Yeah, we do get a revive here. Uh, not only is a revive for safety, but it's it could be useful for when we have Gyarados. Um, not even in like a safety situation, just like a it's a good item requirement. For red. Yeah. But you do like buy revive, so it's not the biggest deal. You don't pick it up. Alex, we really want to try to combine the menus where you teach cut to save one do having to do an extra menu. So we try to judge where we use our repels and do the right amount of steps. Yeah, this will often end up being uh, two tiles before you would normally fight Rebel One. Yeah. And you also want to take the perfect lines out after the cut tree because you have not really anything to spare if you want to be optimal. Just get this. Because I'm teaching cut to Quilava, I'm going to teach it over tackle in slot one. Which does make me actually lose one step, because Quilaba has to go in front of you to cut down the tree. <laughs> so I have to think about that when I go into the grass at the end. If you were looking at my screen, then um, I just entered this cutscene from the middle of the grass. So I minimized the walk tiles up to this uh, Ethan cutscene. And it only... You should only do this if you have perfect movement and repel chain yeah. correctly. It's not really not worth the chance of an encounter. Yeah, it feels you, like it always happens. If you, if, if you lose steps, then you should just, like, don't go in the grass. It's fine. Or if that's his case, if he does everything perfectly from here, then he should enter from the rightmost grass tile. I won't say it's this is perfect, because this is very much not perfect, but I didn't lose any tiles, <laughs> so... <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's the part that matters for my example. <laughs> Alright, a couple things when we get to Golden Road. Um, first order of action, get the bike. Bike is fast. And then we go ahead and get Whitney back to the gym by... Doing the radio guard quiz. That was an interesting rival fight. I am not going to go into the details. <laughs> I've entered that house too many times. It's harder than it looks. The yeah. movement. Can't confirm. If I'm not under the pressure of a PB attempt, then I just uh, go one right.
Alright, finally out of Azalea. Darkness is Man. deep. It was deep. I have oh, died to both Faulkner and Rival 2 so far. That's just not a good start. But it is the luck of the draw in a Manipulous category like this. It's and Pokemon in general, so. We also get uh, the Gift Sparrow, Kenya, in our party, and we're going to switch it out front. Kenya is going to be our new main. Kenya is built very well in this game. It's already level 20, so one level from evolving. Uh, it has good moves, Area Lace and Pursuit. Uh, Layer mirror move are the other two. Um, it's female, so it doesn't get affected by anything in the gym. And it also has set nature and IVs. So it's very consistent. It has good natures and IVs too. I believe it's like 20 in attack uh, and speed. 20s and other things too. I can't remember what they are right now. Um, and it's hasty nature, so. Yeah, very good. Yep. Has powerful moves and matches up really well against Whitney and Morty. Okay. That's fine. Um, all the Jigglypuffs here are 14, 16 ranges, but. And they all carry Disable and Sing. But I missed the last one and it disabled me, so it's. It was fine. This fight was only one more turn. I forgot to get Sentret. <laughs> 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 oh no. I guess I'll get it in daycare. No, in the uh, National Park. Yeah. This is like the best crit in the game, if you get it. it's It saves two turns on the snubble, because it has Intimidate. And the crit would ignore that. Yeah, that's usually how the fight goes. Uh, it lands two scary faces and it bites you. But if it misses, then you could probably get away. Damageless. Which is nice. We're gonna evolve. Oh yeah, one, one, one more thing about Kenya. It's considered to be a traded Pokemon. It's not your original ID. So you get 50% more experience. Okay, I did get Sing. But it's not attacking me. <laughs> so it's not that bad. And also, I really don't want to use my full heal that I picked up. I really want that for later. So, just try to wake up. Not getting damaged was lucky in my unlucky event. Okay, that's that's the crit you want. Yeah. That's why you don't use layer. Layer is time loss. <laughs> yeah, aerial ace PP can be a little tight, but like as long as you like using it for That's why you have the ether. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Ether's always there if you need it. Juicy, juicy crit. Okay, I'm actually at a HP range where it can go roll out. It's fine if it does. Yeah, that means yeah. I I don't need to heal at all before Whitney either. Yeah, like getting a good snubble also makes it so that you don't have to heal either. So it's two good things in one. Yeah. If only I didn't get like four turns sleep on the last daily buff. Would be amazing, but still take this. Yeah, a normal fight for Whitney. Um, you take two stomps and Whitney will always stomp again. As long as you didn't like take damage from the fairy or uh, get crit, for example. And then after layering twice, you mirror move stomp. So. Stomp's like a little stronger than Area Lace and that has good flinching. It's, that's really nice. 
don't get to do that. I just talked to Kenya. <laughs> Kenya's dizzy. <laughs> yes, we flinched. So even though you flinch mill tank, you can still use mirror move on stomp. Because of how mirror move works. Oh. But I guess you could also use aerial ace in order to skip the mirror move thing. We'll yeah, mirror move is faster, but yeah, I, I you just want think of it as like. I just think of it as like a super effective box. Like, yeah, it's gonna happen eventually if you're saving aerial ace. This route, two free fights and uh, two spinners. That's what we have to deal with. I really got to remember to take out Sentret. Because if I forget again, we are going to take Bill Cutscene. <laughs> Anything to avoid. I critique Center. Um, these two spinners are deaf, which means that they don't hear you when you run past them. It's not gonna work. So you don't even need, like, insane reaction time to get past those guys. If you're just running. Just get the bike set up on Erwin. <laughs> yeah, the, the funny thing about those spinners, um, specifically death spinners, they always um, have like a little bit of random list to, the, to them, because their their cycles can be like either like seventeen frames, mul multiples of seventeen frames, or multiples of like sixteen or eighteen sometimes. Like it's because of that, like setups will break. When you're trying to pass Death Spinners, like it took a while for us to realize this, but it is kind of rare to have it happen. Like, that setup doesn't work because of that. Like, I haven't never heard of anybody getting owned because of it, but I guess not enough people try it. Yeah, I got the crit on Clefairy, not bad. Nice. So I got centered out. One nice thing is usually centered would be dead here, but my centered is now alive, so I have some safety. Yes. And I got the fringe as well. Very good with me. Really don't know why I said yes to trading phone numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few seconds. Arnie is so psyched, man. Whoops. Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, I should have gone right. Whatever. Metronome, do not paralyze. Okay, he's known for Dragon Breath. <laughs> yeah, this this fairy double can be a troll, depending on what happens. They have Encore, they have Metronome. This fight can go however it will. That's fine. <laughs> you can never predict it. Metronome focus energy, that's a lot better. Surprise one for Metronome toys, but... I'm not one to judge. Better than like Grow. Alright, I'm not dead, but Whitney crit me, so I'm very disappointed in her. Yeah, Whitney Death you can recover with the revive and you pick up. Still sucks, but yeah. 
Uh, this bit of grass here, it's worth to just YOLO most of the time. Reason is because um, Kenya has keen eye, which if you don't know, it works similar to Ooh, that's a good intimidate crit. in the overworld, which lowers the encounter rate of Pokemon that are at least five levels lower than you. Cuts them in half. So it's not worth it to repel there. But did you get off the bike? No, I biked. Ooh. I don't need that, but... Yeah, I got pound crit on Kenya, so Kenya is now low HP, which is nice for predicting the move that Magnemite is going to use on Rival 3. But I also have Sentry alive, so I don't know how I should use that. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can oh, factor into don't this kill. Rival Okay, 3 yeah, play. the burn saves me there. The HP of both your Kenya and Quilava, and also if Sentry's alive. You'll see a lot of different ways that the fight is played. No encounter, nice. Getting a netball. That's from Magikarp. Spoilers! Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay. I missed the coughing range. He missed smog. This coughing is a 75% range. 13, 16, actually. Oh, 13, yeah. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Fortunately, I was at 27 HP, so Magnemite was not going to Thundershock. Oops. Let's see what I can get for my extra forty eight dollars. <laughs> Magnemite can go for like supersonic or thunder wave. Yeah, that one too. Well, lava. Oh my god. God's hardest challenges gets the 25% through parafusion. Now I'm basically gonna let Golava die so that Kenya can finish the fight. It does matter how many leers I get in. Uh, yeah, one's good. Get all three. And then a quick attack? Oh my god, Kovava. Wasn't even paralyzed. Damn. Muscle emoji. Best Paralympic out there. <laughs> I got through all the trees after Sudowoodo without bunking. I'm proud of myself. Nice. I am gonna have to get Ether though. Because I had to aerial ace Whitney. Don't have enough. I want like four the gym. I have two. Fine though, because a lot of the time save is. or a lot of the time losses. 
negated by the fact that you can use Air Lace more on the Pokemon in the gym, so you avoid like more super effective texts. Yeah, Mike Walava is not as good. Hit itself in confusion. Full para. Because I am minus attack and I have no Ember PP left, so. Oh my goodness. I cannot kill this Magnemite. Please. No. Oh my god. I'm getting full para every time. I just need to do one damage. I believe in you. Oh yeah, my it sucks. Oh my really, God, really sucks that Magnemite has oh both Thunder God. Wave and Supersonic, Isn't and will prefer to go for the revive? other. That was ridiculous. Now, don't water gun me immediately, please. I want some layers. Thank you, Rokanaw. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot my Kenya's low, too, and I didn't get any damage on the on the Croconaw with Kulava, so it's, it's not, probably not going to kill. Don't Ice Fang. He used Ice Fang. Don't Freeze. Wait, this actually sucks. Am I going to lose? Uh-oh. Hopefully you get a not Ice Fang move here. <laughs> okay, I did get clutch. Yeah, Mineral with Ice Fang. Yeah, Ice Fang does like just below half. So if you let Kenya do all the work on Krokona, then it will get a little scary. Yeah. I'm also out of healing items and I have no nothing alive. I will get the hyper potion. I've been in this position before. I don't yeah. know if you can tell. <laughs> in tournament. One of the beneficiaries of that is in this call. <laughs> Well, that was one of the rival threes of all time. Centred alive, by the way. Didn't help me at all. <laughs> it was just unfortunate to not have any Ember PP left. Like, Ember would have definitely killed the Magnemite. Actually, no. Yeah. It would have been a range, but it would have been a, like 14, 15, and 16 range. Whereas Flame Wheel was probably never going to kill. Actually, no, it was kind of like 50% to kill. It's pretty sad. The movement that I always tell myself to do, even though I don't feel confident. Believe it or not, my Sentred is level 7 at the moment. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I mean, it's from the, the double in Bugsy's gym, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I didn't mention, I didn't swap for the Clefairy double too. Completely uh, forget mm, that. Yeah. Uh, that'll do it. Please wake up. <laughs> I feel like it's been five turns, you should wake up already. <laughs> I got my sleep, mate. Yeah, it takes a lot for Morty to go wrong. I, like miss a range and then 
Hypnosis hit first. Like, that's probably the worst combo. Or just curse immediately. Basically curse. This range is 50-50, though, so ideally, you just get it. Very nice. And of course, because of my mistake, I'm not level 25 for the Zubat, and I got Confusion. Yeah, if you get 25 then, you're faster at minus 4, and the range is guaranteed. Mean look, hypnosis miss. Okay, that's like a bunch. Okay, whatever. And one and nine Moldy in the race is definitely good. Yep. And not complaint. My D pad is cooked. I have now fallen on the first two trainers. <laughs> I just golded Morty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I... yeah. I see what I didn't do. I didn't go in the theater yet. <laughs> I did Rival 3 without the theater. Ooh, nice. I got the good... the good Edith fight. Sucker into curse. I felt like I was missing something, but I couldn't figure out what it was. I got curse on this one uh, yesterday on my practice. Your practice? Yep. Practice. Did practice. Oh my I goodness. Did. Practice. Imagine if I didn't. <laughs> Not a game, but practice. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. That one, that one came so fast, I didn't have time to mute. Unlucky. Damn, unfortunate HP here. 20 HP is how much Curse does, so... I have to heal. Up until we get Carp, we can't find the Legendary Beasts. Because they're higher level than you. So the Repel don't, doesn't stop it. Hopefully it doesn't happen. And they can't be on the water. Yeah, I'm gonna lose like two minutes to Tucker here. <laughs> oh no. That's how bad oh, my yeah. rival was. Now we're just... The Equalizer's coming. Yeah, the Great Equalizer. AKA Carp Hunt. Uh... Average time to find the carp is like 90 seconds. Ish. And then, like median is like 77. I think those are numbers that were ingrained in my head. Uh, but it can also take minutes. But yeah, basically by repel tricking, we're avoiding all the magic carps that are below, um, that are at level 25 and below. Because we have Kenya out front, which is level 29, and the only carp that we can find is level 50. I just messed up there. Oops. Yeah, this is where the circle pad is really nice. No hand killing. Oh, there it is. That's... man. Alright. Yeah, it's not a bad cart. <laughs> not at all. PB <laughs> <laughs> pace. Don't that, man. Yeah. I could PB. I could PB. Uh, I'm only like 25 seconds behind PB. Kind of crazy. Let's hope it's a good cap now. Yeah, hope so. But I'm not super uh, confident in my ability to PB today. After all. 
Yeah, I lost more like two and a half minutes to Tucker on Morty Split. That is very, very bad. <laughs> I feel bad because I feel like I've gotten like all the good luck in this race and everybody else has had like I've gotten all the bad luck. Something happened to them, like I, I had bug catcher Dom, that was my fault. None of these crits have been my fault. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I have much time save left in my PB from here, but we'll do the best that we can. Whoops, I don't need to do that. Just get like 31 IV attack and you'll have some time save. Group. Yeah, I couldn't catch anything there. Oh. Normally I have like a replay buffer setup, but I don't have my usual OBS scene setup, so kinda have to look. Okay, carp time for me. Oof, 90 speed. That's not great. Not really. Oh, that's nice. Really fast carp. Dang, nice. Only took like 20 seconds. Yeah. I do need this ether. To use the one on Kenya. So the gap is not quite three minutes at this point. Up the battle, is... but it's not over. Yeah. Got some comp. Uh, my attack is 150. That's good. Really yeah, good. that is quite good. I think I was neutral. I'm not too sure. So yeah, now that we have a level 50 Gyarados, we're pretty much going to steamroll most trainers in this game, up until the final two fights, basically. Yep. You things will be scary, but we'll be very wary to point them out. attack no oh, 29 okay pretty high yeah a lot of IVs 97 because... speed I think we have a good one here best cover yep. for me too we're looking at speed mostly because ARP speed and Gyarados' speed are like very comparable. It's like 80 to 81 base speed. But the other stats, definitely not comparable. But um, what they will tell you 
if you pay attention, is like mostly the IV number. Yeah. Um, the nature won't do much because you're only like taking off like three. If it's like minus or plus. Yeah, the nature is a ten percent plus or minus, and carp stats are so low that the percentage is nothing. <laughs> yeah. It becomes apparent when you get Gyarados, but it can't be determined for sure when you have Carp. You have like a such a wide range of values for Carp's IVs. So I have a... Speed. Is that Lax? Gentle. Yeah, the most scary thing when it comes to speed, uh, we're lo we're looking for a, s a certain threshold, like all all automatically when looking at a car. We wanted ninety four speed. The reason why we look for that is because there is a Jolteon that is quite scary in uh, the Komodo fights. That um, you need like decent speed to get the get the jump on. But if you don't get the jump on it, then it becomes not a freeze fight ever. You can die. This carp has very good IVs. Call not when I have them exactly, but so far looking very good. I think that's certainly on the table right now for me. Race world record. <laughs> yeah. Which is what, 34524? Yes. Oh. oh that killed my arm. Fuck off. Oh, holy <laughs> shit. How long is yeah, that? The darkness of this category. Not a good fight. Or er, not a good fight. Not a good hunt. I wasn't checking specific time, but I think I had the worst hunt. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, 121 carp, yeah, that's... Wouldn't be that good. Yeah, three minutes slower than mine. So about four minutes. That's really bad. And I have a neutral carp too. Very good IVs. Yeah, so my IVs, I have 30 HP, 28 attack, 10 defense, 26 special attack, 26 special defense, and 15 speed. So that's an excellent carp. 
Like, gentle is not like a helpful nature, but it doesn't hurt either, so. And my lowest IV is attack with lighting. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> did you find your carp, uh, DTS? I did, finally. Nice. Carp had 99 speed, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, that definitely clears Piltion. I don't think 90 speed, which is what I had. I don't even think Carbos works. So I'm just gonna have to deal with the consequences. Monkas. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a little slow. Screw off. I hit um the one guy like a rage. I forget his name. Ron. Ron. Ron yeah. is Needle King. I already have Gyarados though in front, so it's fine. Uh, I'm Rash, though. Still working on IVs. Arbok. Yeah, Rash is good. Arbok is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Rick was good. Let's see what Arbok is for me. Missing Arbok can be really bad, because there are some shit moves in this fight. Yeah, mostly Glare. You can get Glare, you can get... Uh, disabled. <laughs> <laughs> Very unlikely, but it can happen. God damn, sick of pinch. The bike shop! No! <laughs> so Arbok is guaranteed for me, so that's really nice. So usually Dragonite doesn't help you. Dragonite usually goes for fly, but it can go for... Her. Thunder or Twister. <laughs> yeah, ideally Thunder turn one. <laughs> yeah. How about with Arbok? In case of uh, missing the range. Which it might be I miss the range because I'm minus special attack and Dragonite goes for Thunder. Very nice. Alright. Billy's can I get a shiny? <laughs> Again. The odds of one shiny in three billies is one in 2,700. So, please, game. Rage. All right. So my worst stat is my HP at seven to eight. Everything... Oh, actually, I also have eight to nine minus special defense, but everything else is uh, 16 and above. That's going to be scary for blue. Yeah... Not looking forward to Leaf Storm. Just get a lower roll on the first hit. It's gonna be yeah, 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 yeah. Just get lucky. That, yeah, that's that's been my motto this whole run. It's just get lucky. Yeah, surely your luck will catch up to you. For a uh, hypnosis missing there, and you're fine. Yeah. How about I'll throw in a flail two hundred blue. What the? Oh my god. Do you have the attack? Uh, 16 if you're rash, you don't have the attack. No. Yeah. No. Okay. 
If I'm not gonna win the race, I better provide some content at least. <laughs> I have an idea for something you can try. How about you kill the level 40 Dragonite in the double? See what Lance sends out. <laughs> That'd be a good experiment, wouldn't it? Hmm. I'm curious. I'll just surf everything. I have the special attack for it. Then you won't get the content. <laughs> Not the content. It might be content, but I need content that finishes underestimate. <laughs> you can solve the line here. Going guys. overestimate will be good, right? Because we're already starting. We're already so far ahead. We are ahead. We started like forty minutes ahead, so. Mm -hmm. That was some nice sync between Alvo and TTS. Are we synced both... up right now? No, no. But oh. you're synced up in that you were like vertically synced. Ah! High five, TTS. Yeah. Like, Alvo was at the top stairs and you were at the bottom stairs. Oh, I see. <laughs> No shiny for me. I'm lucky. Dang. What a shame. Yeah, I didn't find the shiny for my first three years of speedrunning, which is kind of crazy, but it all, it all paid off when I got shiny Billy. Yep. God himself visited my Kenya run. <laughs> if I had like one or two more attack IVs, I could go for Ether Skip. Such a shame. Still try it. Uh, get the range. Yeah, I don't know how tight your surfs are. I've already kind of committed to not doing it, so I'm down one surf already. Damn. That's another gold. What the heck? <laughs> what is this gaming? Maybe my split are just. I don't know. They're kind of old. Like, I did kind of have to grab them off of, like, Splits.io. It wasn't updated for, uh, whatever I accomplished in tournament. Because, like, I had to, like, reset my computer stuff. Yeah, 1804 is, uh, probably possible, yeah. Sounds reasonable. That's a gold. Yeah. Now we go back the other way. We go west to Holbein. So we're doing Price as the the fifth gym leader. If you look at your trainer card, he's supposed to be the seventh. So this is just the the, the optimal order to do it since we're already here. Yeah. Uh, Chuck, Jasmine, and Price are all interchangeable. 
And Chuck is, or uh, Price is pretty free with the uh, Gyarados. It's all about the dugong. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze now before getting to my mute button. <laughs> Bless you. Tucker is approaching the first spinners of the carp section. The first one is really bad if you hit him. Yeah. Five folks. The most punishing spinner in the run. Also pretty difficult setup. You have to menu within two frames of it being possible. I think it's three. Yeah, not quite sure if it's two or three. Oops. That's it, right there. Wasn't gonna pan out for me, but it's fun on the last cycle. Nice. So, both setups. That one is also pretty tight. You have to menu pretty perfectly. I've seen people miss that setup and be confused. If they they were just too slow on the menu. Gonna save any time on Lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I mean, I mean, yeah, for Lighthouse. But... Could we get something bad on Chuck? Yeah. No shiny Billy's bad RNG. Very unfortunate. Uh, dang it. So sad. So got the first setup. Always nice to get it. Feels like I always fail it. Very close to that walker right there, but 
all you gotta do is like waste a few frames. You won't get caught. You leave and uh, re-enter the gym because you want to reset that trainer that you fought back to his position. So that you don't have to fight any more trainers. Yeah, I said I wasn't saving any time on Lighthouse. I also didn't lose any time, so... Yeah. Very nice. Just a lunch, which I've done three times this run. Pretty tricky because quite a bit of lag when you turn. So I was really close to hitting the, the walker there. Doing the walk bonk to skip turn frame strat. I think you're one frame away from being seen or something like that. It looks really, really close. I did not dodge. Unlucky. No, he's gonna power me, power me with body slam? No, sir, thank you.
just doing the side quest for or side quest the quest for uh amphi getting the lighthouse up and running so jasmine goes back to her gym so after beating jasmine uh Depending on your special attack, you want to be either one second here. You want to be either getting Mystic Water or just going straight to um, the Rocket Quest. For me personally, I have good special attacks, so I'm gonna delay Mystic Water. Yeah, me too. I will be able Reason to delay it. Why it's good is because you have to do early Mystic Water to guarantee the Golbat range on arrival. Um, you don't have a Repel up for the few water tiles that you have to surf on. But if you do it after Ready Tower, then you have the Repel up for um, Ice Bath afterwards. Just works out that the Repel can be done as early as it can be. And Jasmine is entirely free with Gyarados. You didn't get the bike shop uh, Robin to set? Yes, I did. did you it's, always it's impossible to get it, not get it, unless you get Pokeris. Yeah. You got it after the hideout. I was wondering why the 10 second on the check speed. Yeah, I got Hypnosis. But I did lose 10 second. Yeah, I got a perfect lighthouse. Praying for no cooked movement in Chuck's gym. Every time I did practice for this gym, it was cooked. <laughs> yeah, did, you, did you get the bike shop on the Chuck split? Me? Elbow. 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 Yes. Yeah, no, I got it on price split. One reason why having a price split can be a bit misleading is bike shop call can happen before or after. Getting the rocket uniform. When you have the rocket uniform, everything in Goldenrod changes. You can no longer get on the bike, you can't fly out. They did everything they could to lock it down. NPCs have different dialogue when you have the uniform. They are very disappointed in you. Yeah.
Body slam para. Alright, dude. So right now, everything for about half an hour should be a 1-8 KO. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit funny. Get cozy. What the? Relegator's not a 1-8 KO. Oh yeah. It also doesn't do anything to you, really. Yep. Forgot about Relegator. And Viplume, yeah. Mm -hmm. So something can happen, but it's only in those two spots. Summary. I would like to fly, please. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Love. All right. I went for a tackle that I really should not have, because it was not the last poke. Alligator became confused due to fatigue. I also missed the tackle. <laughs> Classic. That's how that ended. Yes, got it. Perfect movement to the underground. Gaming. Yeah, unfortunately, Radio Tower is just a long segment that doesn't have a lot of content within it. There's content, it's just boring content. Does it content if it's boring? It's slop. It's slop.
We're like all on Radiant Tower, right? I'm just about to fly there. Gotcha. Yeah, it's long, so everybody's in Radiant Tower at least. Yeah, you know if it's a long section if I'm in there with the rest of y'all, because I'm a minute behind. I just could not remember his text box. Of course, it's nationwide. How could I forget? one more tile. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you need 17 max repels for the rest of the game. Uh, I was able to afford 18. I think normally that's the case, and Soul Silver. You did to get three escape ropes because because of World Island, so get only 17. enough. This is where my extra $48 allowed me to afford an extra repel. No, it did not. <laughs> <laughs> no worry, man. I'll be there somewhere. Surely it'll give me an extra full restore. Oh, 
Sleep Powder. That is the worst. Damn. Alright, Wild Bloom time. Sweet scent. Copium. Copium. Crit. Sweet scent. I accidentally talked to the first grunt that you fight in the uh, door maze, and he's like, I think you hit the green one last, but the green one's in <laughs> <Yeah>. the middle. <laughs> Not that it super matters the order, as long as you start left to right or right to left and hit all three, it's usually fine. Oh, you know what? I just forgot the max fashion. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that's kind of Kamanka. Just got the hyper before going in. Yeah, that's fair play. Yeah. You hold up to go to the elevators, you don't talk to them. Gen 4 moment. Oh, that was what I was supposed to do, damn it. Well, this is gonna be weird. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Got a few tiles of YOLO because I did the wrong movement <laughs> on the repel. Time save. Uh, okay. Yeah, three. When setups work. Very nice. Only about what, uh, five more spinners have to worry about. Two more in Jodo. I'm too tired to count it. <laughs> There's three in Kano. Yeah, there's two on the way to Victory Road, so... Technically, that's Kanto, right? Um, yeah! Technically. As the guy tells you, taking your first steps into Kanto. You should open your Poke Gear and see. That's why it's free, as long as you do math correctly 
because Gyarados' best move is Dragon Rage. Very consistent. And this is really the first time that we utilize a uh, move Flail. Um, as you have lower HP, Flail gains uh, power, base power. So right now I have Flail 100. Um, throughout this one, we'll like, really try to influence our HP so that's low. And then Flail just like sweeps with little setup. So there is like inherent risk to um, setting a flail because you can get crit. Or say like on Lance. Or red. Thanks for reminding me, I need to uh, have God flail program. <laughs> yep. I'm going to use Flail turn 1 here, because I only need two X attacks. Could have used it twice, actually. My HP was kind of perfect for setup. And Flail is faster than X attacking. Yeah. It's not much, but it's a little bit faster. We do buy a ton of X attacks, so we have extra to spare, assuming nothing catastrophic goes wrong. And this should be a pretty good split for me, I think. Nice that the quizzes, both the radio card and the Dragon's Den quiz, are same answers. One one two one two, or even one one three one three. Actually, golded by quite a bit. That's. Twenty six fifty two Jasmine Declare. So gold by six seconds. Gold splits have been nothing but an urban myth to me this run. <laughs> and my gold was a six twenty six fifty seven. Lost seventeen seconds of it this run. <laughs> I'm going to do some new tech on this split here. I use the Max Repel right after Claire. And this Max Repel is going to wear off on a very good tile. It's not going to lose me any time. It's not going to wear off on the bike where that might happen if you repel in a different spot. If you repel like at the water, then it'll wear off like in the running part before yeah. the Belgium Trail. So that's what I do. Out for me. Like if you if your repel wears off on the bike, then it's slower because the bike has a little bit of wind up. You don't want that to happen. You just want to be in top speed on the bike. I also ran in, like didn't get on the bike in the 
in Dragon's Den before the trainer. So Gyarados comes out faster in the battle and then got on the bike after. Uh -huh. I don't know if that saves time though. Because you uh, put away Gyarados in the overworld. Yeah, I think it saves a few frames or something. Oh, uh huh. I gotta try timing it exactly. It go ahead and get the hyper, so I have something to heal HP. If I get hit by Jolteon's Thunderbolt. Because throughout this run so far, you do not get any hyper potions or anything like that. You really don't need to heal at all on Gyarados. Umbreon. Beast right comes down, yep. Alright, I got through. With a really good attack, you can kill with Waterfall. Oh, that's really, really good. Yeah, let me check what I have for my attack stat right now. I think I had like the slightest chance ever to kill. I don't know if so. My attack is 170. So, yeah, 165. It's a 1 in 16 to <laughs> kill. So I have like a couple of a couple of uh, points of 16 chance to kill. Yeah, 171 for me. I think I'm the same. Maybe 216. I don't know. Yeah. More likely is the flinch. So, yeah. Hope to get that. 20% to flinch with waterfall. Comes in handy. Good luck on Jolteon. Thank you. Ultion has double team, Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, and Last Resort. Double team, hit through, please. Oh no. Here we go. Oh no. Another double team. Hit through the second time. Nice. Be you. Oh, I got the the one at KO. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Bucky. That, that was uh, revenge for missing the coughing earlier. Probably the same range. Like 3 and 16 to not kill the coughing, and 3, three and 16 to kill Umbreon. Should wear out earlier than normal. I'm also gonna go for strength on the Flareon. Based. Saving half a second. Oh, what the heck? That's <laughs> lame title to wear out on.
Oh. I've not been built out in a long time. <laughs> Fast max road to get here. Sorry, take my break. Congrats, Auden. Break. Thank you. And one of the benefits of playing on Heart Gold is that, uh, you know, you're facing Ho instead, and Ho has less speed than Lugia, and that actually matters for being able to run away. Not very pleasant when you can't. Sometimes you'll buy like a Poké Doll to get away from Lugia if you're really scared about speed. Oh, perfect timing. My cat just showed up to want to be let outside. <laughs> <laughs> I had to let mine in before the race because they were both outside. All right, break time.
don't know. I'm doing this, whatever. Gyarados is about to fall over. Don't do that, Gyarados. You're like really heavy. You can yeah, hurt don't fall on me if you're gonna fall over. <laughs> Classic Kingler with the Protect. Is and difficult. Big time for me. Bear Congrats back. on break. Thanks. Feel free to make it like an extra 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright, rival. This fight also not very hard. Things still haven't caught up yet in difficulty. Unlucky. Really Why want to unlucky? Now. It's a meme surf on Golbat. Unlucky. No, dude. Yeah, so sad. Crushing. It's a decent range. 88%. Well, did you never candy after Jasmine? Uh, not if I have good stuff. Mm -hmm. We start E4. These fights generally like a bit of setup, but nothing is that scary at all. We also have four stores now. I missed the 80% range down. Ideally, no confuser on this turn. That's like a crit is actually pretty good. Nice. If I didn't miss that 80% range, I would have golded rival as well. <laughs> Just missed three golds in a row. So taking those psychics uh, will benefit me later, usually, because I'm much lower HP and much closer to the foil setup.
Well, Psychic is doing nothing. <laughs> I took 30 damage from it. I'm gonna get bullied by Psychic a little bit. Just for that minus special defense. He spikes. Yep. To protect. This Crobat uh, has double team and it's faster. That's what it does. And I miss. The common theme in the last half of the game is double team. Yep. And I hit after the second double team again. Looks like I have a guaranteed the champ range. So this fight will be very smooth. Yeah, that's pretty nice when you get that guaranteed on Bruno. Don't protect me. Okay, Corbat. Be nice. Yes. Aaron Zumpion. Another double teamer, also a confused ray. User. Um, man. Let me guess. Double team hit. Or double team miss, double team hit. <laughs> Happened again. <laughs> So you're saying I have a chance. Hmm. <laughs> okay, no QA from Hit Bonton. Good. I just really hope I can avoid getting frozen by Ice Fang. Yeah, Ice Fang Freeze, like, pretty much ruins your setup. Just go double special defense drop back sector. <laughs> it's also concerning if I uh, have low strength PP, but I don't think that'll be a problem. I'm slower than Gengar. Uh, 
can go for like a spike. I have my full health for Lens. If I get frozen. Focus Blast. 58 HP. Hmm. Alright, let's figure out how much damage Lance will do. And... 18. Okay, it's got a Dragon Pulse for 19. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If everything goes properly, I think I can get a three turn setup. Okay. Sparks so attack the next speed. I hope it goes well. Just need all 19s. Surely. It's fine. Come on, buddy. Come on. Very nuts. Wow. That is a very fast E4. Not very fast. I, I, I did miss twice. And protect, but at Lance. Big relief. Lance is one of the scariest parts in the whole run. I do not have my Poke Walker anymore. I'm lucky. Yeah. I wish I had it. Fun times. Then you could sleep track and walk track. <laughs> How do I walk in my sleep? I have to be a sleepwalker. I'm taking 16, 18, 20. Should be good. Let's get sub one kin to win. That's a 42. And I got frozen. Very uh, no. awesome. <laughs> uh, I could get frozen again. Sub our canto is possible. Um. Are you gonna do I need I need better than a sub Arganta to get a forty two. Yeah, true. Uh, anything better than race world record? I'm completely happy with. That'd be super sick to race record in a marathon. Everything else is completely unacceptable. <laughs> I won't say that. I did a. Uh, Get the race world record in the first round of the tournament. And I missed the match him. Nice. First round of the first tournament.
yeah, I caught up a bit from Chuck to, to Rival, but that freeze just lost me all the time back. Yeah. Sucks. And that's three misses on Umbreon for me? Four? <laughs> Five? Six? Please save a waterfall for a Gengar. Not like this. Seven? Uh -oh. Nice. I need to heal now. Uh oh. <laughs> just it's happening. Goes six double teams? Man. Sure, so I'm not even like going to pause the confuse or you or anything. Yeah, I got payback Great twice at least, team. but that sucks. I just used my last PP. I'm stupid. Yeah, uh -oh. that seems right. bad. Just crit with Surf. We good. <laughs> Focus bless me. <laughs> hmm. Wait, you didn't heal on 20? Yep. You're crazy. I think it does less than that. Let's see how much on average? I guess. That's like 20 average. Yeah, I wouldn't risk getting crit there either. I have a revive. It's okay. Uh, That's true, but. Yeah. Don't like the decision still. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Basically, this guy's slacking off and we beat him. No, this trend is like chill. We can let you go anywhere. And this little girl's messing with the captain. Could be some kind of ultra violation here. Oh yeah. Like right next to the electric generator. Really doesn't feel safe. The like Gyarados feels threatened. First gem is Sabrina. Kind of free. More worried about the spinners. Yes. In the fight. And the encounter. She did not get. It'd be. Alright, no income true. That's a good start. Yeah, you're pretty unlikely to get an encounter with uh, with Gyarados in the lead. Like 
18 percent yeah nice all right got the run bike. dismount run the bike, bike. Uh, run minute if you dismount you're the bike with parking. gyarados i don't know what to tell you <laughs> you're making the way wrong decision. too chicken way too chicken it is time loss Sub-59 is a very difficult task. But I don't know if anyone has ever got sub-59. Yeah. I don't think so. Also, I haven't played in a, in a while. Oh, Psychic. Psychic crit, please? Oh, unlucky. I think the best Kanto is from, from my PB. 59 minutes, 5 seconds. What is mine? I think I remember like 59s. Oh, 59, 17. I yeah, I think you had like a 240. No, wait, no, no. no I don't remember. Okay. I can just look at my splits and do the math. Um, 243. 18. So, that is 59, 14. And I am 29 seconds behind right now. 27. Now. So you talk to this girl from the top. So she walks only one tile instead of two. Because she's really slow. Get this walk speed. No encounter. What? Critical. No. Alright, got past the spinners too. Good split. Repentus was like a minute behind me at Carp. I feel like he might be like, he might be like tied right now. Yeah. Actually, the gap, the gap at Carp was 244, and the gap at Lance was 242. Mm. <laughs> Our golds were like offset by the freeze, basically. Yeah. I kept losing turns here, and but it's okay. Didn't answer too much. A lot of trainers on this split, and then, and then we start to pretty much challenge the leaders back to back. I feel like this is the boring split of Kento. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that long, thankfully. You have good execution in this split, though, so not that bad. It's better than Radio Tower. Yeah, trying to not bonk on the tree. <laughs> and I did get a turn frame again.
got blocked by the guy. Very annoying. And they go to Nincon True. Yeah. Shout out to PG. Shout out. <laughs> what has Pidgey done for you? Show up. It mean to blaze for Falconer, so he actually helped me. <laughs> mm. And she quick spin. Very bad Sabrina so far. And I didn't run. Bad gamer. That's it? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at me. At least you didn't run the last time. Yeah. <laughs> is pretty useful in this double battle. Be able to kill Paris. Our sector won't die, let's secret it. No. Spore. Usually you have a, you have a chance to get a, a statue on Kenya in this fight. Very unlikely to get it on Yara. Yeah. Rather get it on Kenya because Kenya does not matter. You can yeah, the first easily. Paris has expect spore, but the second one does not. It's a thirty percent chance to get a status condition. Risky Misty's here. But what about <sighs> the contact? I am the content.
But just think about the free time save, because no one else has ever done Risky Misty in Manipus before. <laughs> well, just crit offset it, come on. Three, one second yeah. time lost. I'm getting the medium result. Yes, dude. Medium result. Hmm. Okay. We might be in for something here. Two. Bro. So close, Golduck. So close. Man. Screw you, Golduck. You you got so close to me. You even dropped me on turn one. And double psychics. Uh -uh. Unlucky. Bad double with effects for sleep. Yeah, it sounds pretty fugly. I don't know if Minnow has done it. Theorize it, but he's done it. It's a different question. Let's see where they are. Maybe I can get a good Erica. Kobe. Surely. It's the saving grace. Yeah, losing a bit of time because of the effect spore. Not really much I can do about that. Yeah, that makes it tough.
So gap is almost at three minutes now. It's gonna be oh, pretty hard uh, to catch up. Oh man, why don't I press A there? Go to the wrong city. <laughs> Damn. Ugh. Your feet is frozen. I can't see what happened. Uh. It's back. Shout out to Tech. Yippee. Just in time for canes. <laughs> Sighting. Surely everyone will have oh a smooth cans experience. Oh my gosh. Yesterday I got uh my new worst pe worst personal worst cans. I got 13th try. <laughs> Hopefully you can get better than that. Come on. Oh my god, man. One and two, one and three, one and two. All miss. Disgusting. Oops. I know I'm gonna get it here. Yep, one and four. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Probably lost like a minute. Yeah, I'm still a ways away from Ken's. Disgusting rock tunnel. I am embarrassed. Uh, last use. movement. Attack. Two double teams. I miss. Three. I hit. I have two one HPs so far. That's my first one HP on Surge. <laughs> <laughs> I was three on Lance before the level up on First Dragonite for Gyarados Day. But was it the right play? Like, were you above kill range? Yeah. I mean, I will. Oh. Uh, 117? So yeah, I could die. <laughs> yeah, then you should just full restore. First try cans, thank you. <laughs> nice. Good luck on Magneton. Thanks. That's the best moment. Wait on Surge? I feel like you did <laughs> No, I'm still on Misty. Oh, you were on Misty. Yeah. I had just finished the double when we first had some stream issues. I saved about 50 seconds on Surge and then about 45 on the attack issue, I think. Probably. Wait, did I not get the elixir? I think I didn't get the elixir. Uh-oh. Um, where am I going? Where am I going to start from?
guy who least wanted to pause pause the most. <laughs> Unlucky. Is it good to go on race record? Yeah, I did forget the elixir. Could be a problem. Just pick it up right before you go into the gym. It's very time loss. I don't know if you have another. You really option. need that elixir if you manage your BP? That's the thing, I don't know if I will. You can just center. It's fine. I am paralyzed, I can't move! And I got triple protect on Omastar! Wow! wow. I mean, the first one missed, but he got double after that. Yeah, then it's Easy. not a triple. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm slower than jump flood, Fave. It's gonna hmm. it's really gonna about, about to do this. Yeah, that's right. I already right. know. I already know. Yeah. Like speeding, it's gonna fucking sunny day. Here we go. Oh no, it didn't. Mm. Hmm. Sweet. Um, uh, <laughs> this is kind of weird. Yeah, it's a current Rubentis froze on the on the screen. Yes. Everything's on fire. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right. That's probably one of the weirdest Erica's I've had. Yeah, that barely figure. doesn't work. I forgot to split for playing, that's why. Okay. Almost a good Erica. I made a misplay. I should have used an X speed instead of an X attack. Would have been really good. This is love throwing me today. I was like 60 HP, got Sunny Day turn 1, could have gone 2x attacks, flail 100. But I got Leech Seed, so I would, take, I would have taken too much damage. Yeah, I, I just had like a weird conglomeration of, uh... oh fuck, god damn it. Too late. It's fine. What's the move set of the Bidu Fruventus? Superpower, Amnesia. Uh, super Fang and Takedown. Very powerful. Very. Uh, 
speed. I should have been doing 50. Um, harder. Look on Glenelventus. Thanks. Extreme speed. Hmm. He spawned. Fuck, dude. I went too early. No, I definitely need to center. That's pretty much race over, I think. Really would have had a chance. Like, I was, I would be perfectly fine with those Erica and Janine fights. Oh well. That's my punishment for not waiting during the tech issue. <laughs> <laughs> Did lose me about that time, I think, maybe. Yeah. You did not wait at all? <laughs> no, no tech issue, no hit optional. Like, I was at the end of the fight when he said, Oh, wait, maybe, you should, maybe you should wait. I was like, oh, I'll wait after the fight. But then... We didn't know what to do. <laughs> it's fine. Supersonic miss, okay. Thank you, Crobat. I don't know why I would ever use Supersonic when it has Confuse Ray. The fact that it has bullets is completely absurd. I feel like it also goes for Supersonic more, but that's just anecdotal. <laughs> it's just funny. Every time I say it, it's like, there it is. right side of the Pokemon Center. I don't like it, so I won't do it. The kid was like so far to the left. Um, we're at the final two fights. Blue. Blue is one of the scary ones. Uh, the way that we do this fight is we basically, like, wait out Trick Room. And we set up on every turn under Trick Room. Uh, so I'm going to plus four here. Yeah, Trick Room turn one's good. Anything other than trick rooms, just like kind of annoying. Basically, losing a turn. My crit kills in full. Oh, maybe not that one. Okay. And this would be nice. Alright. Get in here. As long as I don't get crit, could be a, a win. Alright, cool. That's that was like very standard for blue. Nice.
both Arcanine and Gyarados have Intimidate, so you kind of have to uh, do stuff on like Gyarados because you're not always going to kill. But for this Gyarados in particular, I do have a 15 and 16 on Gyarados, which is like, obviously I'm going to go for that. turn for blue good luck Nick see Mick yeah, that's fine um... beautiful fly 200 Erica for me even with the same. I am getting destroyed by this rapid ash right now what the hell is happening are you in speed tie? Oh, I think I'm time? speed tied. Oh, yeah, that's the speed tied plus belt spam. <laughs> Did not realize that was possible against Rapid Ash. I lost all my surfs. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh, yeah, the, the timer on on the stream is not accurate. I actually, I actually think I'm on like 3:44 pace. I forgot that my race TV has like a future bit. <laughs> I, I I totally forgot about that. I was just like comparing his race TV and so even with the pause, yeah, your face pretty good. Man, could have been right, but red's no sludge. Worse. Uh... So we gotta win. I have a 14 and 16 on Gyarados here. Nice. Right, very important that I pay attention to Snorlax's stats here so I can do the setup properly. 84, 136. That seems like a elite Snorlax. Sounds like a beast. Yeah, red is much harder than anything we've done so far. Did anybody catch my current Gyarados HP? Hmm, I should have checked. Because it's like 190. Oh, I have maximum HP on Snorlax.
Um, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking... saving because it's not yeah, really good interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. One nine six. Thunderbolts. So this whole setup here is very complicated, but in in essence, it's just getting Pikachu to kill itself via Volt Attack or Recoil, and we need to prevent it from hitting kill range from all of this as well. So we're really yeah. playing around with the HPs that we're making a deal to itself. You also need like strong like stats that and make sure that Pikachu goes for uh Volt Tackle all the time. And sometimes you need to intimidate the Pikachu first, and sometimes you don't. Depending on Snorlax. Say so, by when Pikachu sees Snorlax right now, it's always gonna Volt Tackle. 100 percent of the time. might not die because it's at minus two now, but that's why we use Crunch to finish it off. And prickle it, it will die. Um, so out comes Blastoise, that's also another important part. Blastoise is way better to sub on than Snorlax, because it can only hit you on the special side. I do have regular revives if things go awry here, so it's not terrible. So I'm going to plus five attack. is four. Five. This could put me in flail. Um, no, I'm one HP away. <laughs> oh no. Unlucky. Um, yeah, no. I'm just gonna follow start here. I think it's pretty safe to call it. I'm that I'm, I'm lucky. If I if I took one more HP of damage, then GG. Yeah, we can still win. Yeah, I think one. this one is wrong in my notes. I don't know why. I think I need to Quilava damage here. 
so I'm gonna get get Snorlax. Yeah, this is not gonna erase world record, unfortunately. But it was a good try. I really need a good red play to 344. So it's fine. If I can get within if I can get like a 340 a 345, then I think this would have been race record. If not for the skill. Or skill. Tech issue. I was about to say skill issue. <laughs> Body slam. Pretty scary. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a critical. Okay. It's all good. Um Venusaur. How much does Venusaur do? I need these kelts right now. Oh, Rosard. I can delete you before I check Venusaur's rolls. 58. Um, I am dead to poison. <laughs> I don't think it's completely necessary to do this. I think I'll just steal. And it wouldn't have been uh, 345 anyway. Fishing by the timer right now. Oh, I died to Giga Impact. Fuck. Oh, man. I lost count of blizzards. Because I did so much setup because of crunch defense drop. That sucks. I don't like that at all. Um, I think it might heal, or it could Frenzy Plant overgrow Frenzy Plant me. Oh, it's Giga Drain. What the hell? Alright, goodbye, man. GG. I don't know why I'm using X Special Defend. GG to go. GG. Yeah, I actually could have died to Overgrowth for a Frenzy Plant. Um, very strange that it didn't go for it, but yeah. GG. Not taking any chances. Giga Impact probably kills from that. Yeah, that, that was a real time of the run. Fuck around that eye. Yes. Let's wish some luck for Rubentis TTSNO here. Yep, I need it. I really don't want to get defense dropped by Crunch. Is that four? Should be five. It's hard to count. Hard to keep count <laughs> after you die and stuff. Yeah, should be good now. Yeah, the recovery is. Pretty damning on red, but um, it's better than going back to like a save. Uh, okay. Yeah, I probably want wanted to heal on Blastoise. Yeah. Or that may have been Flail, and I'm dumb. I'll check for you. I was curious too. Yeah, that was Flail 150. Fuck. Exactly. So I had 233 and uh, I got 22 HP as well, but that wasn't well for me. 
So I knew it was close. Yeah, very clean run for me, I think. Uh, I mean, I was close to PB, literally. And yeah, really good start. Yeah. Surge. That was fun. Uh, I didn't think I had that much fun with uh, just a random HSS race, but <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you get on a run. Super sub. These are supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's probably you get, you get the full spectrum of emotion. Yeah. <laughs> but that should be GG for me too. Nice GG, but not a sub three fifty. Forgot strength doesn't kill this. Little content. I would I had a revive too, so it, would, it was fine. I guess we should just share this in chat. And I did... yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna get snow legs too. I'm cooked. Yeah, I'm not sure why ah. my setup didn't work. When the hell did my repel wear out? Or did I not use one? Four two twenty seven one twenty. I had I had trouble coping with the fact that this was not lead snorlax, but uh, I'm double checking. It's about eighty five was like works with anything, but this this one does have really thick HP. Okay, yeah, I think I've got a case that is wrong in even in your notes, Tucker. Oh, really? I had yes, 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 and I got Volt Tackle. Switched to Kenya, sent out Snorlax, Max Revive Gyarados. Sorry, I'm bad at processing this. Uh... Okay, I need an 86. Oh, no. Okay. Um... So switch, I switched to Kenya, sent out Snorlax, Max sure oh, Gyarados, no, but that, dude. that gives you healing range for Pikachu. Do you have your numbers? Uh, yes, 207, 237, 235. And Snorlax? 235. Oh yeah, my Snorlax stats? Or what? Defenses. Yeah, it was 71 and 121, I think.
Is this a master troll job from Twisty? <laughs> yes. Okay. Twisty is trolling, he knows the he knows the carp exists. What happened on your fight, Rubentus? Uh... So... I got Bull Tackle, I sent out... Snorlax, I switched to Kenya. Kenya got Bull Tackled. And Pikachu is like at 50% HP. Sent out Snorlax, Max Revive Gyarados. And that's healing range. I guess I had to switch to Kulava, but I don't know if that would have been enough. It probably would have. It looks like it's copy pasted from If If Thunderbolt. Yes, yes. Like it's the same on both. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about minnows, right? Minnows too. Uh, I'm look just looking at notes. Oh. Oh. I haven't used minnows ever. So you might need right. to switch to Kulava, or not switch to Kenya, maybe? That's a GG for me. GG. GG. I mean, it's a red problem one. where not too much damage. Um, uh, oh, you died. Yep. Oh. That's not GG. <laughs> BG. I mean, I'm not gonna go back, so that's okay. GG. Yeah, no. It's not GG, really that's... Fun. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Don't say GG when mean not GG. You don't ever say GG after you lose? Yes, but not GG for the speedrun. Let's go TTS. Yeah, yeah let's go. My comment? Oh, I didn't. I got race time is like that. If you press enter on your comment, then it doesn't actually comment. Yeah. Alright, I got a gold. Or two golds, actually. Pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually going to work, though. How much plus are you? Four. That definitely works. GG. GG TTS. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's 41 go. HP, Re really bad spadef, Hydro Cannon. <laughs> That's probably favored to kill you, huh? <laughs> Never tell me the calcs. Never? Okay. Oh, and Hydro Cannon on me. I could have potion, but I could have died to like a high roll, not a max roll. Will I get the sub 4? So yeah, I, I feel like... My intuition did not fail me. That was fun. A uh, little sneak peek of what the tournament will be like on PSR TV. Yes, dude.
hyped for that. No speed gaming this year. Yeah. And get so far with an H Gen 4 HP bars. I've done that like it so many times. <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, let me count my number of sub four runs. Oh yeah, do you, do you want to participate in tournament? This looks any sort of fun to you. Blink. There'd be a lot of this. Yes, you can join this Discord for information on when the tournament will happen. Most likely October. I believe that's right. It's beginners are welcome. Sir. I joined the tournament knowing absolutely nothing about Glitchless Manipulus last year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was just an awful start, though. I got screwed over so bad in Azalea. Yeah, almost a 48 Azalea was brutal. Yeah, and then a bad car punt on top of it. There's just no chance for me to come back at all. Yeah, it can be rough. What is Alvo doing? Tweaking. He's just... doing the... What's it called? The... Is he doing the reverse, like, ice, ice path, path? Tweak? Yeah. That nobody knows unless you run, like, a ROM hat. Crabs is an expert on this. <laughs> All right. needs the DNF in race time. <laughs> yeah, black tone. GG guys, good race. And GG. GG. GGs. Um. I think that'll be it. Um, thank you guys for racing. That was really fun. Appreciate yep. you all. Thanks for joining. Of course. Yeah, thanks Last for filling minute. in. Yeah, no problem. I, we, I, I filled in for Ashes because he wasn't feeling up to it. A lot of stuff yeah, happening. Drop out. Yeah, IRL. So, uh, and I believe we have one more, one more run in the marathon. No, two. Two more. Two more um, to fill out the rest of Monday. Monday morning. So. Yep, next up is Scarlet Violet Treasure Hunt.